I'm NASA Kennedy's Brienne Roloff, and I'm outside KSC, taking you inside KSC. Kennedy Space Center's Crawlerway is undergoing a thorough conditioning campaign to prepare for Artemis 1. The Crawlerway is a unique roadway with twin 40-foot lanes filled with river rock. Its job? To withstand the heavy loads as NASA's crawler transporters carry rockets from the Vehicle Assembly Building to Launch Complex 39. Teams from NASA's Exploration Ground Systems are in the process of driving a Space Shuttle-era mobile launcher platform along the path. With each pass, they will increase the weight on the vehicle. In the end, this roadway to the launch pad will be ready to bear the weight of Crawler Transporter 2, the mobile launcher, and the Space Launch System rocket topped by the Orion spacecraft. Under the Artemis program, NASA aims to land the first woman and the next man on the moon in 2024 and establish sustainable lunar exploration by the end of the decade. The four astronauts on NASA's SpaceX Crew-1 mission launched from Kennedy aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on November 15, 2020. The next day, they arrived at the International Space Station aboard the Crew Dragon spacecraft they named Resilience. This past Sunday, February 7th, the crew surpassed the record for the most days in space for a crew flown on a U.S. human-rated space capsule, 84 days. The record was set in 1973 and 1974 by the Skylab 4 crew. NASA and SpaceX are targeting no earlier than Tuesday, April 20th for the launch of the SpaceX Crew-2 mission to the space station. For more Inside KSC, check us out on social media and at nasa.gov Kennedy.